Do you want to know how to turn your iPhone keyboard into a trackpad so you can quickly edit text? I can show you how. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for technology tips, tricks, and tutorials, you've come to the right place. If you find this video helpful, subscribe. Let's jump over to my iPhone and get started. To turn the keyboard into a trackpad on devices that don't have 3D touch, or if 3D touch is turned off, you have to long press on the spacebar. When you do, the keyboard will turn into a trackpad. To move the cursor, slide your finger in the direction you want to move it. Let's edit this tag. It should say how to use low power mode. Move the cursor behind the word do and change it to the word to. Then tap the search key. The overall score comes back as 70%. This is not good and I think we can do better. I'm going to try formatting this title into a question, like how do you use low power mode on an iPhone running iOS 12? Long press on the spacebar again, move the cursor in front of the word to, and change it to the words how do you. Tap the search key, and the overall score returns to 100%. This will be the video title. Let's take a look at another example. If 3D Touch is enabled, you can long press anywhere on the keyboard. If you want to know how to turn on 3D Touch, check out the video in the YouTube card on screen now. Once 3D Touch is enabled, you can long press anywhere on the keyboard. This will give you the ability to move the cursor side to side, as well as up or down. Let's take a look at an example in the notes app. Here's a quote by Stephen Hawking. As you can see, it needs to be edited. 3D touch is enabled, so you can long press anywhere on the keyboard. Then slide your finger in any direction to move the cursor to the text that needs to be edited. To edit text, lift your finger off the keyboard and type normally. Using the trackpad allows you to quickly and easily move the cursor. This works on iPhones and iPads in any app. If you have a problem with any part of this process, leave me a comment below and I'll help you. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. In a moment, you'll see a few of my other videos appear on screen. Feel free to check them out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.